Hello again. Uh, in this video, I'll, I'll try to explain to you um, how not to let your uh, iPad or iPhone uh, connect directly to the EasyCast device. Uh, as you can see at the top, or, uh, top right, uh, upper right corner of the screen, currently this, this, this represent this iPad is connected directly to the EasyCast device that, that is uh, at the back of um, this TV set. And this EasyCast device uh, in turn uh, is connected to uh, the Wi-Fi router uh, at this household and uh, through which it, it, it is connected to the internet. Now, um, in this setup, you could use uh, this EasyCast app and do all kinds of things. But uh, the beauty of this device is that um, you don't necessarily have to use this setup. Probably uh, in most cases, you will like to you like to have your iDevices be connected uh, directly to your Wi-Fi router. So, and, and uh, this EasyCast device works in that setup as well. So let me uh, explain how to change the, uh, the, the setting. Now, uh, with your uh, iPad uh, or iPhone, you go to uh, settings. And, oh, oops, let's see Wi-Fi here. Right now, it is connected to, to the EasyCast device. However, it is also showing the SSID of the Wi-Fi router. So let's switch to uh, the Wi-Fi router. Now this iPad is directly connected to the Wi-Fi router. And you can see this uh, also in this status uh, pictogram. See, you see a, a, a cross uh, in a red circle and it, it says zero. So what that means is there's no device directly connected to the EasyCast device. That's it. Thanks for watching.